This is John Kohler with DiscountJuicers.com. Today I have a very special treat for you. Just got a fresh shipment in of turmeric, organic turmeric from Hawaii. Here it is right here. This is a, a big, nice nub. Normally, I've never seen them really this big. Normally, they kind of look like this. There's like They kind of look like ginger, but turmeric is in basically an herb that's used primarily in curry. So that's what gives the curry the classic coloring that it has and it is purported to have many health benefits so they say it's good to help detox the liver it's good for anti-inflammatory it's good for anti-aging I don't know what this stuff isn't good for just really good that being said I want to see how it's gonna juice in the Omega Vert 330 HD model so uh, let's see in India they eat approximately two grams of this a day actually in the form of curry not necessarily straight up like this. I was snacking on it straight. It has a nice, unique flavor. I wouldn't say it's sweet like a carrot. It's kind of like its own flavor. It can be a little bit more earthy tasting. So I wouldn't necessarily recommending, recommend juicing a lot of this straight up. You might want to mix it with the standard vegetable juice. And that would normally be my preference to mix it in with some like, you know, cucumber, celery, apple, and leafy green juice. Like, you know, maybe just like this much in a day you probably don't want to have too much of it but what I thought I'd do for fun is mix some fruits and mix some vegetables so what we're gonna do today is uh, juice an organic pineapple with this turmeric root now normally I'm not a big fan of mixing my fruits and vegetables when making juices sometimes it may cause gastric upset and may not digest that well so the only fruits I really like to add to my vegetable juices are apples and also pears, maybe Asian pears also, because they're in the same kind of family. So usually I'll add one or two apples or Asian pears or pears into my green vegetable juice to get it to be sweeter. Otherwise, I rarely ever mix my fruits and vegetables when juicing. Of course, in your own home, you could do whatever you want, you know, but if you have gastric upset, don't say, I didn't tell you so. <laughs> so I'm happy to say that I have an organic pineapple here today. In my other videos, you may have seen me cut off the skin of the pineapple and that's mainly for the fact that I don't want any of the chemical pesticide residues that in that is in the peel uh, this juicer will handle it with no problem with the peel and all if you have an organic one so let's go ahead and spin that top off nice and easy let's get juicing we're gonna first cut up the um, pineapple feed pieces in and then alternate uh, with the turmeric once again when you're juicing with the Omega vert or other single auger uh, style juicers you want to rotate the produce you're putting in you want to give the juicer different consistencies so this is like a hard fibrous root consistency this is a softer fruit consistency and the different consistencies go through this juicer basically and push the pulp through the machine and help it just work a lot more effectively so without further ado let's just go ahead and cut this pineapple in half There we go, there's half a pineapple. And wow, smells good. What you want to be aware um, when juicing a pineapple is that there's a center core piece, and this core piece is very instrumental in getting it to juice properly. The other thing that's very important when you're juicing pineapple or anything else, turmeric included, you want to get fresh produce. I can't stress enough how important that is. If you try to juice, you know, soft, mealy apples or a wilty produce, in the juicer it's not gonna work well it's gonna back up it's gonna give you more problems than it's worth so get fresh produce in the first place you know grow it yourself or get it fresh from the store you know when I'm picking this out I'm looking for a nice hard firm one not one that's all soft the soft ones won't really work that well and it'll actually cause you to be frustrated so let's go ahead and cut this up into some pieces here skin and all and let's go ahead and start juicing this in the Omega Vert 330 HD juicer. Alright, so we have it cut up. Let's go ahead and cut that turmeric up and see what it looks like on the inside. Wow, man, look at that nice dark color. It's like darker orange than a carrot. Now, be very careful because this turmeric coloring, much like carrot carotenoids, will stain your juicer. This stuff is probably going to stain your juicer more than the carotenoids in the carrot juice wow has a nice aroma because this is actually uses a dye to dye like clothes and other things so after you're done juicing you always want to clean your juicer as soon as you can right afterwards you don't want to just sit down on the couch with your juice watch some TV then come back to it 
because what will happen is the stains will set into the juicer even more hardcore and they'll be harder to get out the pulp will start to dry to the screen then you have to scrub harder and you're just making more work for yourself so clean it right away you're gonna have the easiest time to clean it and it's gonna stay nice looking longer let's go ahead and cut this into some quarters here all right there we go that's it let's go ahead and turn this machine on once again I am using the Omega vert 330 HD this is a vertical single auger style machine the Omega vert 330 HD is identical to the Omega vert 350 HD but this one is in white the 350 HD is in the black and silver color now the HD models have the upgraded screen that's this piece right here one of the problems with the original Omega verts with the white screen is that they were um, cracking with heavy use so I encourage people to purchase this model if they want to juice more than three times a week although Omega did recently tell me that they have upgraded the original screen in the white machine so that's gonna be really cool but I still like definitely the upgraded screen I haven't had any problems with this so far let's go ahead and put this back together And let's get juicing. Gonna go ahead and turn this on. You can see here we have the whole peel and all, skin and all with the pineapple. Drop it right in. The Omega Vert 330 HD doesn't even blink. And check this out. You could see the skin and all coming out of the machine. The machine just grinds it all up and juices it right up, no problems. Let's put another piece with the rind on. No problem for the Omega Vert 330 HD. It looks like it's juicing the pineapple pretty good. Let's go ahead and throw it a curveball. Drop in that turmeric. Oh, no problem. Took the turmeric right up. Oh, man, look at all that juice coming out. Has a nice carrot juice ish color. I'm sure this juice is going to taste absolutely amazing. Now, pineapples are actually really good in themselves. They contain the enzyme bromelain, which also may be useful. To help inflammation plus they just taste so delicious if you've never had fresh pineapple juice you know fresh out of your own juicer you've got to taste it it tastes like a hundred times better than that canned pineapple juice we all had as a kid so you can see the Omega Vert 330 HD juicer juicing up the pineapple and the turmeric without any problems. Let's go ahead and drop another piece of turmeric in. That's one of the other things I like about the Omega Vert 330 HD. I mean, we literally just dropped the turmeric in there, drop a piece of pineapple in there, and we don't even need to push it in. A lot, some juicers, you actually need to push the produce in. Not with the Omega Vert 330 HD. As long as you don't cut the pieces too large, otherwise they may get stuck, then you might have to use the pusher. All right. So we cut another piece of turmeric in half. Let's go ahead and dump a half a turmeric piece in there. Let's see if we can get this juice to stop up. Nope, chews it right up, juices it right out. Look at all that fresh turmeric juice coming out of the juicer. All right, here's another piece of pineapple. Once again, we're juicing it, rind it all. And yes, oh, <laughs> this piece is a little bit too big. We're gonna have to cut that one down. Let's take another smaller piece, drop that in there. Watch it just get sucked right in. All right. Now, once again, with the Omega Vert 330 HD juicer, or any juicer for that matter, you want to take your time when juicing. You don't want to constantly just keep jamming stuff in there because then it could get a backup situation, clog you up. The best time to add produce to the Omega Vert juicer is once the pulp that is coming out stops moving. Then you could add some more uh, produce to put in to get juiced. All right, let's add this piece of pineapple here. Look at all that pulp coming out. Man, this is a turmeric pineapple pulp. This stuff is really dry. I don't know if you can see that. I mean, that's just a hard, solid mash. So the turmeric and pineapple is working great in the juicer. We're already up to four cups of juice from basically one pineapple and some small pieces of turmeric. There's another piece of pineapple going in, and the juice is coming out. Let's go ahead and dump another piece of the turmeric in there. 
All right, let's go for this solid knob of turmeric after we drop in this piece of pineapple. Watch how it does this solid piece of turmeric. Right in there. Takes it right in, juices it right up. You can get all the benefits of the turmeric. You know, that's why I like juicing so much. I mean, we could take this turmeric and just chew, chew, chew. It's very fibrous. It's kind of like a carrot, you know. You got to really macerate it, chew it up really good to get all the nutrition out of the cell walls. Break open all the cell walls with your teeth. But who has the time to chew 200 times a mouthful? I mean, I do, but do you? <laughs> so that's where a juicer comes in handy. You could really put all these items through the juicer and it breaks open all the cell walls for you. It extracts all the liquid nutrition in the juice and leaves you with all the fiber. That fiber is great for composting. Put it in your garden, feed it to your worms. Sometimes people make, you know, different crackers with them. They eat them as salads, depending on, you know, what's in your pulp. <laughs> All right, wow, man, we're almost done juicing. Let's put another piece of turmeric in there. Juice it right up. This is an amazing color, this juice here. It's like a nice, like, yellow-orange color. Wow, amazing. So here's a... Another piece of the pineapple, that's the core piece. So the core piece of the pineapple have more fiber to help eject out all the pulp. And I'm really amazed, this pulp is actually really dry. And I think that's because of the extra skin that we're using on the pineapple. The extra skin, once again, is hard fibrous material that's gonna help the juicer push the produce through and the fiber through. Another thing I like about the Omega Vert Juicer is that it's backed up by Omega Products. They've been making juicers for, geez, over 30 years now. And this machine itself has a 10-year warranty. Try to go down to your local department store and buy a juicer that has a 10-year warranty. You won't find one. Most of those machines at a local department store have about a one-year warranty. So you know what? Buy a good machine in the get-go and then you'll have it for a long time and use it for a long time because a juicer could make a definite improvement in your health if you use it. Not just if you own it, <laughs> if you use it every day or use it several times a week to drink these fresh fruit and vegetable juices. I would tend to focus on the vegetable juices and I believe the vegetable juices, especially the dark leafy green vegetables, are definitely one of the healthiest juices that we could drink because leafy green vegetables are really nutrient dense foods on this earth. All right, so it's still running. We put that last piece of pineapple in there. It's still juicing, and once you put that last piece of whatever you're juicing, you wanna let the juicer run and get all those last bits of precious juice out of the machine. Let's go ahead, looks like it's pretty much done. We could turn it off and take a look. Wow, this yielded just one pineapple and three pieces of turmeric root yielded approximately six and a half cups of fresh juice. Let's take a look at that juice there. Look at that juice, that is a family size serving of juice. Wow, it's gonna be so delicious. Wow, that's one of the best juices I've ever tasted. Now, that turmeric root, you know, the pineapple sweet, but the turmeric root adds that bite. It's just, a, it's just a different weird flavor that I can't describe because it, it tastes like turmeric and if you've never had turmeric, you don't know what it tastes like. So that was quite a bit of turmeric to be juicing, like three nice sized pieces. So once again, if you're not used to turmeric, you know, start slow. And I recommend that with all root vegetables except for carrots. Carrots you could pretty much juice as much as you want, but even with beets, you wanna just juice a little bit of the beets. Root vegetables are very powerful things to be juicing. So hopefully you've enjoyed this episode juicing pineapple and fresh turmeric root in the Omega Vert 330 HD juicer. It did a great job and now I get to enjoy all my fresh pineapple turmeric juice. So once again, this is John Kohler with DiscountJuicers.com. Be sure to visit DiscountJuicers.com slash YouTube for special promotional offers for our YouTube visitors.